Yahweh, right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. It's the brother Azariah here with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. All right? And uh, I just want to go into this this quick topic, you know, through the spirit and power you have by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay? And basically what I what I entitled this video is uh the comforts of this place will destroy you. Okay? The comforts of this place will destroy you, okay? And um you know as the scriptures tell us, okay, which uh let me see here. The scriptures tell us, okay, arise and depart for this is not your rest. It will destroy you even with the sword destruction, okay? Ooh, demons. Demons. Everybody in my mind want to go 150 million miles per hour, man. Where are you going? Where are you going, demon? Woo! Demon. They got, hey, anyway, it's locked in. Hey, fuck them demons. All right, now, back to what I was saying. This place will destroy you even with the sword destruction, okay? Now, you know, there's a lot of ways you can think about this, but the, the main way I want to look at it is uh, from everyday basics, right? Okay, you know, the, the flesh is a very fickle, very changing, very, uh, so like it, let me make sure this music ain't going. Very particular type of thing, man. The flesh is a, you know, the flesh is a, is a bitch, man. You know, the flesh desires pleasures, okay? And the flesh will want these pleasures even at the even at the cost of your own salvation, okay? At the cost of being spiritual, at the cost of, you know, all these things, man. Your flesh still desires those certain things that are not good for you, that are downright bad for you, you know? And uh, this place caters to living in the flesh. This place caters to Constantly feeding your flesh, constantly feeding your belly, constantly living in pleasures, okay? And the scripture even comes to mind, too, about, uh, okay, uh, the scripture say this was the sin of thy sister Sodom, okay? We talked about the uh, the abundance, having the abundance of bread, strengthening not the, 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 uh, the hand of the, the poor and the needy, okay? And that's this place, America, Babylon, the great, man, straight up. I may have to grab that scripture. I'm gonna pause it real quick so I can grab it. All right, Khan, I got that uh, scripture, right? It says, this is Ezekiel 16 and 49. It says, behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her and in her daughter, daughters. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. So there's a lot of things, okay, tied into that. Pride, fullness of bread, abundance of idleness, right? So if you if you listen to those characteristics of Sodom that are put in that place, uh, that, are, that are spoken about right there in that book of Ezekiel, right? That fits America, Babylon the Great to a T. This is the one of the most proudest places on the planet Earth, okay? Uh, um, there's a, the, the abundance of bread. There's so much bread or AKA food here. Okay. That, that it all goes to waste, you know, and, 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 that, and that part about the abundance of bread ties in with the fact that they don't strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. Cause when they throw away the bread, they, they pour, uh, they pour poison on it. They pour stuff on it so that you can't feed it to, uh, to the, uh, to the, to the homeless. Okay. Strengthen out the hand of the poor and needy, right? Um, you know, uh, uh, idleness. So, so the idleness that's here, you know. So, hey, man, if you wanted to, which is why we, why, why America, Babylon the Great, is among the uh, one of the most obese nations in the planet on the planet Earth. Okay, if you wanted to, you could sit up and eat all day, man. You know, abundance of bread. You know, cheap little dainties everywhere. You know what I mean? Damn honey buns and 50 cent cake and cake, cool cakes and whatever the hell you want to get. You know what I mean? 
it's everywhere. So, uh, yeah, abundance of bread and also uh, the idleness, you know. Set up and play uh, play Fortnite all day if you want to. So, uh, you know, but getting back to the point, I'm going to get that scripture too when I, when I pull up. Matter of fact, I'm going to pause it so I can pull up this scripture. All right, Ken, I got that scripture. So it's Micah 2 and 10, right? Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right? In this place, America, Babylon the Great, is not our rest. But there are so many different things here that can make you feel comfortable. You know, two-thirds of the house of Israel are comfortable in America, Babylon the Great. Okay, number one, because the Lord have not awakened them. But number two, because there are many different things that can comfort your wicked, our wicked flesh in America, Babylon the Great, and cause you to forget your miseries. You see? You know, and, and I, I'm, 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 I'm beginning more to understand why, you know, why it's a requirement that we afflict ourselves. Because even things such as food are a comfort. Things such as food are a comfort. You know, eating can make you, cause you to forget the thing that was bothering you sometimes, you know? And uh, which is one of the reasons why, you know, I get, people gain weight, you know? They, they're they comforting themselves through eating. But, um, you know, I even remember I was uh, fasting one day and I was walking through, it was um, it was on the Sabbath and, you know, I had, I had to work. I was walking through... Um, walking through the store and I smelled like some something was cooking at the store and it, it almost like was a comforting smell and I was just thinking to myself like you know it's it's so easy to get caught up in what's going on here that for a moment I forgot it was a Sabbath you know, I was just like, oh, yeah, they're cooking. That smells good. That smells fire. This, that, and the other. Then I had to think about it. You know, I'm supposed to be cooking shit today. Now, you know, you know, hey, I ain't being over righteous because sometimes brothers have to cook. But just, you know, just the way things was going, in, you know, in that, in that particular building, you know, it just kind of made me, it took me to another place briefly. And I was just like, damn, you know, look how quickly the flesh when it is influenced in such a manner, ooh, can forget, you know what I mean? Oh shit, what's going on? It's a lot here. Can't forget, you know, um, the affliction, you know? Can't forget what's really important. The flesh has a tendency to be swayed very easily. Yeah, so I can't have to pause it for a second. As you can probably can tell, I'm doing, you know, I'm working. You know, I'm trying to get this little, little money. You know? As the scriptures say, money answers for all things. You know, but of course, knowledge is better than money. It's knowledge and wisdom of this truth. But, um, you know, like I was saying, that's why, you know, I'm beginning to see more and more why it's important to afflict yourselves to fast, you know, that's what I mean when I say afflict yourselves, is to deprive yourself of these comforts that, that we get here, you know, while we're living in this flesh, you know, because this place, America, Babylon the Great, okay, there's an abundance of things, like I said, to comfort you, and if you allow yourself to get too comfortable, you know, you'll be, you can get lost in the sauce, literally. <laughs> you know, all the sauces they got here, which you know, it's just a, you know, a manner of speaking. But yeah, man, we can, we can get lost in the sauce, man. So we have to be, uh, have to be mindful, man. But uh, you know, that's really all I want to go into. Just something real brief, you know. The uh, the comforts of this place can destroy you, man. You know. 
because you know when you're in a comfortable comfortable state of mind state of you know body you're more susceptible to different things man you know you, you slowly but surely you start accepting certain things your flesh starts creeping back to you know the things that it used to like you know or whatever no matter what those wicked things used to be man the flesh man hey the scriptures even tell us of that and that's really that's really a battle that we all struggle against because those demons whatever that demon was is trying to get back in matter of fact i might have to get that precept man all right kind i got that precept and you know th just throughout i'm gonna be you know while the video's going, I'm going to be pausing and unpausing so that, you know, I can actually pull some scriptures that can be more edifying. I don't have them up on the screen, but I'm actually able to pull them up, pause it, take my time, pull it up. At the water, yeah, I'll me. I'm shout for these different tools to make it easier for us to make these videos, man, to get the truth out. Okay, Matthew 12 and 43. Okay, when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and find of none now the he okay is the unclean spirit okay he, he when 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 yahweh yahweh allows you to get these unclean spirits off of you okay these unclean spirits walk around you know um not having anywhere to go you know so let's see what the spirit then does matthew 12 and 44 okay then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Okay? So, what does this empty, swept, and garnish uh, represent? Okay? The Lord done cleaned you out. You know, emptied out all the spirits. Okay? You nice and sparkling and fresh and clean. You know? But you have to feel that. You have to feel that that void. You can't just have it empty, swept and garnished. It needs to be filled with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. The scriptures, uh, Yahweh Shah said what? Yea, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open unto me, I will come in and I will sup with him. That represents you. That represents him, uh, him coming and dwelling within you. The spirit coming and dwelling within you. If you have the spirit within you, you're not going to be empty. You might be, you might have been swept and garnished and cleaned out, so to speak, but he won't find it empty. Okay? Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai will be dwelling within them, within you, and the demon cannot enter at that point. You know? Unless you, unless you, uh, unless you uh, 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 fall to your own sins, like the scriptures say, let not your sins weigh you down. Unless you fall to your own sins and you how by Hashem you how a shot end up not being able to dwell within you man okay okay uh let me get a precept all right i got the precept i wanted so wisdom of solomon 1 verse 3 for forward thoughts separate from the most high and his power when it is tried reproveth the unwise, okay? So you can't test Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Even, even uh, Yahweh Shai, when he was tempted of Satan, well, Satan said, oh, since you be the son of God and you hungry, why not turn these stones on the bread, right? Um, and I think it was, actually, I think the one where he said uh, something about jumping off the cliff and letting the angels bear you up, and he was like, you know, you shouldn't tempt the Lord, so lock it. But that was in that same area, right? All right, so, uh, Let's read this next preach. Let's read this next one. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon one. Okay, so yeah, like I said, when when the Most High is uh, uh, tempted, when he, when he's tested, uh, he reproved the unwise. He's really showing you that it's a foolish thing to try to test him. That's what that's going into. Now, Wisdom of Solomon one and four. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. So like I was saying, okay, once you, when you allow your sins to weigh you down and let them over, overpower the spirit, you push out the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Because wisdom, you know, wisdom can't dwell within 
uh, uh, that spirit. And we know Yahweh Shah is also, okay, uh, wisdom. He also represents wisdom as well. You know, he is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay, the way, the truth, and the life. Of course, right. And he's also the word made flesh. So he is wisdom. All right. So uh, let's get back to that other precept. Okay. Matthew 12. Okay. So Matthew 12 and uh, 44 again. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. What the hell? What's this going on out here? Must be by some birds or something. Matthew 12 and 45. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell, dwell there. Talking about that person. Okay? And the last state of that man is worse than the first, even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Right. So you know. I just want to go, you know, grab that precept real quick because, you know, this place, you know, can, uh, like I said, your flesh wants to go back. That's a constant battle that we're always fighting is, you know, when it comes to certain things is that the, there's these demons that constantly want to get back in. They want their home back. They want to dwell back inside of you. You know, they're not going to stop trying to get back where they lived. <laughs> you took away their dwelling place, you know. So that's something we're going to have to deal with as well, you know? Something we have to deal with as well. So, you know, that's why it's important to have different little things to remind us, you know, and why the scriptures say that, that the elect will love not their lives unto the death, man. You know, the Lord's going to, man, the Lord's going to take us through some stuff, man. Uh, talks about wisdom, okay? Uh, uh, trying us out, which I'm gonna have to grab that precept. Go ahead and pause again. I can't, I'm so lucky. It's that precept I wanted. So, Ecclesiastes 4 and 17 it says, For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. So, we're gonna go through that, you know, every now and again. The Lord's gonna, you know, take us through a test, you know, and then He's gonna, uh, uh, increase us, you know. He'll 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 take us through a test before he takes before we can go to the next level, you know. In his truth and in life, you know, and in life as well. <clears throat> but you know, I ain't gonna drag it on too long. You know, I keep I keep pausing it. I gotta go pick up this other order. But uh, you know, hey, I'm gonna give all honoring praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Habakakodash. Okay, dumb honors to the apostles and elders and Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.